When you are removed from everything that's familiar to you, and you find yourself in a world where you are exposed to different ideas, new shades of new colors, new sounds, new smells, different ways of thinking, I think it really does open up new creative pathways. Tread on the shores so many times Coming back for what I love behind And I try, and I try This isn't the blues My name is Nancy Ruth. Being an artist, a musician in my case, to me means being an explorer. I think many artists feel like they're searching for something and on the way may be faced with a kind of loneliness or inner turmoil that seems to stem from feeling misunderstood. The paths that are set out for us by societal systems of education don't work for everyone. And it's uncomfortable for artists to have to explain themselves and what they do, especially if they don't fit neatly into one genre. I left a rather traditional life and music career in Canada many years ago to embark on this great adventure with my quest being to give life to all the music in my head. I knew it would mean abandoning the comfort and security of a, a perfectly well-constructed life in Vancouver. But my desire to freely explore other possibilities and, and to see what I was capable of was so strong that I felt like it was worth the risk. So I sold everything and ventured out into the world on my own. One of the places I've always been drawn to is Morocco. My first visit was in 2001. I went trekking through the Atlas Mountains and crossed the Moroccan Sahara. I'm fiercely attracted to the most primal of elements, the colors of the ruins and the desert those raw earth tones against the purest blue of skies is primary in nature bare bold beautiful and natural when in the middle of nowhere although in complete silence i feel like i'm connecting internally with the most primary vibrations of sound There's something mystical about being in this environment which makes me feel like anything is possible. I've been back many times, always in search of musical encounters throughout its historic medinas, cities, and vast countryside. And there was one occasion that really summed up one of my main interests in life, which is that music unites. I was invited to join a musical gathering in the ancient city of Tiznit, and without sharing a common gender, language, even musical language, religion, country, or culture, we were just souls coming together to experience a beautifully balanced and joyful human exchange. I've since had many musical adventures like that in many different countries, perhaps most notably in Spain, which has become my creative home base over the past two decades. Now, nearly 20 years after I first set foot in Morocco, I decided to put a project together. I knew it would be an ambitious undertaking, but sometimes I get an idea which turns into a vision, and that turns into that first decision. Okay. I'm going to go to Morocco to put a band together, compose a piece of music that would work for a Moroccan ensemble, record the song, film a music video, and make a documentary about the process. 
But once you start putting all the pieces together, it turns out to be a little bit more complicated than that. When it came to finding musicians, I put the word out. Several musicians expressed their interest, and so off I went to meet them. My bassist and sound engineer Juan Soto came along with me from Spain. And then we met with my logistics manager Khalid, production assistant Sufyan, along with Hamsa, Simo, and later Khalid. We all connected very easily as I told them about my plans for the project. Music of North Africa has always been uh, something that's uh, touched me, moves me when I hear it, and uh, when I hear all the, the, the different ways that you play with harmony and the different ways that you attack a note, the glissando, that mmm, that ah sound, it's like, oh, it's yeah. like, ah, I just love that sound. And so when I wrote this piece, I thought, this would be the perfect piece, I think, I don't know, I would like yeah. to have your opinion, obviously, to maybe try this kind of Having all agreed, I sent them the music and went about working on logistics, scouting locations for rehearsals, locating necessary gear and instruments, and deciding where to film. I contemplated a series of plan Bs, but then decided, no, better to improvise and let the forces intervene. The next trip's mission was to record both the audio and video versions of Just Can't Let It Go, the composition I wrote for the project. Mostly an instrumental piece, it would also feature vocal improvisations by Hamsa and Simo. The music was challenging to play for the violin and oud, and we didn't have a rehearsal before the trip, so I was crossing my fingers that the song would come together in the studio. After a series of logistical complications and travel delays, the recording studio we had scouted out to record in fell through at the last minute. But Sufyan came up with a great idea, and he called on his friend Abdu, who had a home studio. So we rushed over there and managed to get Hamsa, Simo, and Khalid all together at once, which was in itself a bit of a miracle. But by the time we got set up, we only had two hours to record everyone's parts, which was not nearly enough time. It was a stressful situation to manage, pushing through while trying to maintain a, a relaxed and supportive atmosphere. It's a beautiful improvisation, that's exactly yeah. what Fortunately, everyone pulled through with great energy and focus and delivered some really beautiful performances. La composición de este tema es de Nancy Ruth, entonces tiene ella tiene mucha influencia de la música española, ¿no? Del flamenco y a su vez de la música árabe, ¿no? Entonces hemos intentado de hacer una conexión إطار كل ما هو كل ما هو انفتاح على العالم الآخر وانفتاح على الموسيقى الأخرى وطبعا كنا كنهضروا لغة واحدة اللي هي لغة الموسيقى بس نشارك في هذا العمل هذا ديال في إطار يعني إطار ثقافي وباش اللي كيجمع ما بين الثقافات يعني الثقافة المغربية والثقافة الأوروبية وكنتمنى يعني من هذا العمل هذا انه يكون في مستوى شاءت الاقدار باش نتلاقاو مع الناس الموسيقيين اللي تشرفنا بالمعرفه ديالهم وعجبتنا الفكره ديالهم باش نشتغلوا معاهم في هذا العمل الفني ان شاء الله فين يكون الصدى ديالو زوين الاكسبيرينسيا ها سيدو سيدو فانتاستيكا نو موي بوزيتيفا بوركي ا pesar de que muchos de los músicos marroquíes eh, no hablaban español ni yo árabe ha sido ha sido una conexión total no porque pienso que el, la música es el verdadero lenguaje universal no y entonces ahí no hay ni fronteras ni países ni colores ni razas simplemente es eso música eh, con, con raíces y con, con autenticidad the next day, we had planned to record the video in a beautiful historic sala with an incredible tiled backdrop. 
But right at the last minute, that plan also fell through, so we were on to plan C where to film. <laughs> Abdu, who so kindly facilitated his recording studio the night before, mentioned he knew of a rooftop location with a great view of the old city. And so there we filmed, but with much less time than we had anticipated. No, trabajar con Nancy Rue es emocionante también porque es una persona inquieta, no tiene tiene mucha inquietud, no y muchas ganas de de eso de crear cosas y de y de como decía antes interactuar con otras culturas con otras ella viene de un país donde eh, la interculturalidad es fundamental entonces pues yo creo que se ha sentido en su salsa no es, es, es eso es conectar con con otros aromas con otros colores con otros sabores no con otra con otras armonías con otros timbres de, de instrumentos no que que la verdad es que es, es muy enriquecedor trabajar con Nancy I was so happy the musicians enjoyed playing the piece. They all had a natural and beautiful way of interpreting the music. People talk a lot about artists having to find their voice. For me, that voice is always there. It's just a matter of creating conditions for it to come out, either through words or through music or, or whatever an artist's medium is. I like putting myself in unfamiliar surroundings. I think it's through contrast that we can learn the most about ourselves. New views and different approaches to life give us the chance to question our own ideas and where they come from, and whether or not they're still relevant to us. I think for an artist to be true to themselves means they have to have access to their intuition and to stay tapped in, you have to be brave enough to question everything and keep walking into unknown territories. That starts with having respect for where you are and finding that balance between being yourself and embracing new experiences with open enthusiasm. I think the way this project came together, despite all the challenges, perfectly demonstrates my thesis. Music unites. Music is a problem solver. Music brings people, worlds, and solutions together. It's a creative, magical thing. <laughs> Uh, Arabic, French, uh, Spanish, and English. <laughs> We're doing pretty well, understanding each other. <laughs> so we missed the boat, but that's okay. We'll get on the three o'clock, and then we'll have to go straight to the studio, and uh, <laughs> just hope for the best. The salmon of the stream, their instincts fatal. Against the tide they fight to reach their cradle And they fight, and they fight But they just can't let it go Well, it's a long, lonely, 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 lonely Thank you, see you soon.